Sprouter facilitates real-time conversations between entrepreneurs around the world, an exciting new tool connecting startups and encouraging innovators to collaborate, share resources, discuss common issues, and discover relevant events in their community. Your profile enables other people to find you and helps connect you with relevant topics as well as events in your local area. Your profile highlights you and your activity, the people, topics, and events you're following, and all of your posts answering the question, what are you working on? What are you working on is asked by Sprouter to spur conversation between entrepreneurs on what is most relevant to them at that specific moment. Working on a marketing plan? Update to solicit insight and ideas. Reading an amazing article on how to bootstrap a startup? Share it by posting. By providing value to the community, your network and influence will grow and expand. Just remember that all updates must be under 140 characters. Why so short? Sprouter is about quick, digestible conversation. We think this is the perfect length to be concise and to the point. Clicking on posts from everybody, you'll see the most recent stream of conversation from entrepreneurs across the site. Check out what people are talking about, and when you can contribute something, join the conversation. Did someone ask a question you know the answer to? Click reply beside their name and share your answer. Appreciate the link that someone just shared? Tell them and share it with your own network. Jumping in and participating is the best way to expand your network, provide value to your community of followers, and connect with new people relevant to your business. You'll notice a big search bar on the top right-hand side of the page. This is the best way to discover people, events, and real-time discussion happening on topics relevant to you. Let's say, for example, that you're running a web design studio. Search web design to see who else shares the same interests as you. Search your city to discover other Sprouter members in your area. Interested in learning more about best practices for SEO? Search SEO and see who's talking about it and benefit from what resources and links have been suggested. If someone is continually providing value in their posts, you can choose to follow their updates. Just click on their name and you'll see all of their profile info and a button that lets you follow. We encourage creating a core group of people to follow who routinely provide insight relevant to you and your business. If you're a first-time entrepreneur, you might follow established entrepreneurs for their advice and favorite resources. You're always able to see what everyone is saying by clicking on everybody, but if you want to see your core group of people you follow, just click on following. Using the add a filter function, you can assign a filter to a group of people that you're following. If I'm following 500 people and 40 of them are in Toronto, I can click on add a filter, name it Toronto, and check off all the people in that city. After I create the filter, I can click on Toronto in the sidebar anytime to only see posts from people in that filter. This makes it incredibly easy to follow conversations that are pertinent to your needs at any given moment. Keep track of how many people you're following and how many people are following you by checking out the status bar. You might be wondering how you can build up your followers. Well, it's all about value. Share interesting links, answer people's questions with pertinent information, and engage others in dialogue. Sprouter isn't about shouting out your message. It's about collaborating with like-minded people in the community. When you follow someone, it doesn't necessarily mean they will follow you back. But if you're regularly providing value and engaging others in conversation, you'll find people will want to follow you. Want to send someone a private message that others can't see? If the person is following you, you are able to send a private message in the standard 140 characters format. A topic can be around a company, an organization, or a subject. Check out the My Topics section for a drop-down menu of options. If you're interested in encouraging discussion on SEO, click on Create a Topic, write SEO, fill in a description, even an image if you'd like, and establish a tag that people can use to connect all conversations on this topic to each other. Any topic you follow is automatically added to your My Topics menu and your profile page, so encourage people to follow your topic and discuss using the tag. You can even schedule a weekly discussion around your topic for those who are interested. Not sure what kinds of topics exist and whether you want to create one? Click on All Topics to see what is already out there. Follow what you're interested in, add posts using the topics individual tag, and be sure to check out who else is following any topics that you are following. Chances are they have similar interests to you. Next to My Topics, you'll see My Events. Interested in holding a meetup in your area? Click on Create an Event. Similar to My Topics, when you create an event, you have an event page which lists the event details and any conversation around the event. Not holding an event, but looking for events to attend or learn about? Click on All Events to see a list of all the events, or search your city in the search bar. You'll see two options on each event page, follow and RSVP. This is because you might find an event you are really interested in but unable to attend. In that case, you could follow the event and see all the conversations surrounding it as it happens. Checking out who else has RSVP to an event is a great way to make contacts before the day and coordinate meeting up beforehand. Both topics and events allow users from all over the site to participate and share discussion by using the same hashtag. There are two kinds of hashtags on Sprouter, claimed and unclaimed. If you see a green hashtag, that means that someone has already claimed it as a topic or event. To see who owns it and the information surrounding it, simply click on it to be brought to the topic or event page. If you see a white hashtag, that means it's unclaimed. This could be because someone used it one time and didn't feel the need to claim it, or simply used it once as an exclamation. This hashtag, bootstrap, is unclaimed. I can click it and claim it as a topic or event. I now own the hashtag and it turns green. What's the advantage to owning a hashtag? People will see you as the authority on that given topic or event and will likely direct questions to you. Also, it allows you to put in the correct event information or the topic description you like best. 
If you do want to post a hashtag without claiming it, you certainly can, but be aware that someone could come along and claim it. Now that you're acquainted with some of the loads of features to be found on Sprouter, what are you waiting for? Start connecting.